So I've decided I'm never going to let Beth on my YouTube channel again. Um, more to the point, GT3 RS, centre locking wheels, yellow brake calipers with the carbon ceramic brakes. Look at the size of the wing on that one. How much more sincere was that, Beth? There you go, look. But um, lovely blue colour. You can see uh, you've actually got vents on the front of it, above the tyres to actually let the brakes cool off. Very nice car indeed. We actually saw a GT3 RS in uh, West Key the other day, which is pretty surprising. but pretty sick nonetheless if you guys remember back to my ford fiesta st video you were wondering what the hell that car was that went by it was actually one of these classic lotuses that went by costa in Charles ford so over here next to the porsche owners club we actually have the lotus owners club or fan club or whatever you want to call it they've got some pretty sick cars here um some of the stuff like the lotus elise they're actually really good cars especially considering how old some of them are you know they've, i feel like lotuses None of them are particularly stunning, but all of them have aged really well. That is gorgeous. I think that's an Aurora. But they've aged really well. Like, no matter how old the Lotus is, it, no, none of them look particularly outdated with the exception of the really old ones. And um, I think they are a car that's quite timeless in the fact that they're quite small, quite compact, and very, very symmetrical and very uh, just aesthetic in general, I think, personally. Behind us, next to the Porsche, then Lotus, we have the TDR Owners Club. Some sick cars here. It's a shame they stopped production because, well, they just look awesome. Especially, there's one special one that's got a really weird exhaust that I actually really love from the TDRs. They've got a lot of presence and uh, certainly the paint finishes on some of these are exemplar, just like you get with a brand new uh, Porsche or a Ferrari. They are spectacular. So, apologies for wind, but behind me is the Piste de la Resistance, the Lamborghini Club UK. Here we have the Urocco, a pretty classic Lamborghini. Uh, obviously, it doesn't look pretty that good anymore. It's not quite the original. This has been about 70s production, I believe. Yep, 1975, I was not far off. Dead centre of the decade, I guess. So, these are pretty classic. They're worth a lot of money now, but more excitingly, they've actually got a shop up there with all the leather jackets and stuff in. And Lamborghini's clothing and everything isn't actually that expensive. You know, you can get a really nice leather jacket for a few hundred quid, because uh, most of it's half price at the moment. But, over here we do have a Lamborghini Murcielago Super Veloce. So this thing is also known as the, I think it's a 670. Yep, LP 670-4. Now the Super Veloce comes stock with that massive wing stuff on the back. And that matte black look looks absolutely awesome. I do feel sorry for Brad to get it here because it has got dirt up the air intake at the side there. But what a car. Obviously the Murcielago, as you saw earlier on, has the gold wing doors. That naturally aspirated V12 is a note like no other and uh, this one's actually got the, uh, the angular front on it, so it looks a lot newer, despite having those pretty old headlights. But yeah, this was, this was one of the first cars, I believe, that Lamborghini uh, released after its acquisition by Audi. So uh, a pretty sick car, and I was very much like a Mercy Largo. But these are an absolute weapon. They haven't got all the advanced computer systems of the newer ones, so if you have a Lamborghini Mercy Largo, don't mess with it, because these things can be absolutely lethal if you're not handling them properly. So I genuinely have been thinking about purchasing one of those government cash ices to buy my first property, but I want one of them first. I really want a GTR. That's so nice. I mean, to be fair, it's another 2017 model. You can tell by the more aggressive front, uh, but to be fair, there's a 370 Nismo, Nismo next to it, and the Nismos are very nice. I haven't spotted the GTR Nismo yet. Hopefully we'll spot one somewhere, because I'm sure they have one on the pictures of the uh, event page. But... That 370Z, that's Jake Bristow's favourite car. He's one of my colleagues at work. That's his dream car. He wants the standard one, but now he's seen the Nismo, he's probably going to want the Nismo. So aggressive, so much presence, so big, so heavy looking. And um, the paintwork on the newer ones as well is actually exceptional. I mean, it's not quite the grade of some of their competitors, but you look at the shimmer on that. I don't know how well the camera's going to pick it up, but it is just absolutely gorgeous. That's not the Recaro edition. That is just the uh, premium, I believe, but orange brake calipers, massive 20 inch rims, absolutely lovely. But uh, we also have a couple of DeLoreans, so any Back to the Future fans out there, 
drop us a like leave a comment let me know why you love back to the future uh, it could obviously be the delorean they're renowned for looking really cool and not actually being that fast none of these are actual replicas and none of these have flux capacitors in but they still look pretty cool nonetheless and considering how old these things are they've also aged pretty well they do look old but they still look pretty cool We've got another gtr here as well as the noble and the aston martin over there but the nissan gtr here has been lowered the rims are not stopped and uh, I've no idea what other stuff's been done to that, but by the looks of things, uh, it's probably not stock at all. I reckon that's probably had a few modifications onto it, other than it being lowered, probably over the Litchfield kit to upgrade it, maybe a wide pipe exhaust, but um, I do quite like the grey of the GTRs. I'm trying to avoid getting a grey one. That one's got a very nice um, carbon fibre diffuser right at the bottom at the front there, I don't know if you guys can see that, but um, I do, I do just like the GTOs, there's so much presence. That's also got skirts that are carbon fiber as well. So judging by the uh, cosmetic mods and the lowering, I've got to say, I reckon that's probably packing, the, packing a fair few horsepower over the uh, stock GTR. This M4 over here has been heavily modified as well. Hashtag Team Blue, obviously. I mean, I think everyone who's got a blue car puts those stickers on. So uh, might have to go blue next just to try and increase the uh, social media following. But if you have a look at the engine bay in this, uh, this M4, it is absolutely lovely. You've got all the uh, carbon fibre, I'm not sure if it's a wrap or if it's actually a carbon fibre cage, but just look at this. That's like goals when you open your hood, what you want your hood to look like. This is actually the original NSX we've got behind us here, or for you guys in America, the Acura NSX. Over here is a Honda, because we're correct. But anyway, pretty classic. So, based on Aston Martin's current GT race car, this here is their lightest car that has got the Vantage badge and it is the Vantage GT8. This thing sports a V12 twin turbo engine. And when that thing went by on the demonstration run, it was genuinely one of the loudest cars I think I've ever heard in my life. Absolutely mad. We have I think it's actually the first actual F-Type R we've spotted today. We've seen an SVR, which is the newer one, and an S, which is, I believe, the six-cylinder. But the F-Type R is actually the V8 version. So this was seen through Glass's first uh, like proper sports car, I guess. But it's more of a Grand Tourer, because again, uh, V8 mounted at the front, but it's a longitudinally mounted engine, meaning it is rear-wheel drive, and uh, pretty emotive to drive, I believe. But they're also quite comfy. You can use them as Grand Tourers. And uh, they're just a very classy car, I think. And I think for the money, uh, the F-Types are certainly a very a very good value car considering how aesthetic they are. <laughs> this row over here, we've got a fair few exciting cars. As I said earlier, the Verde Mantis LP610-4 Lamborghini Huracan is one of my dream cars, if not my dream car, especially as Puffer Manti. But this is the other color. What would I get it in? Verde Mantis or this is Arancio Borealis, which is their lovely orange color. This one also has the contrasting brake calipers in orange as well, with the orange interior contrast stitching. So that is very nearly my dream spec. Don't know if I'd have it in that or if I'd have it in uh, Verde Mantis. I couldn't really decide, it'd be so difficult. But um, I would like the forged carbon engine bay, and I might even get it with a, uh, with a window instead on the back. But other than that, obviously the 610-4 comes standard with the naturally aspirated V10 and the carbon ceramic brakes. And uh, yeah, orange or green? What do you guys think? Leave a comment below, orange or green for the Lamborghini uh, Huracan, Arancio Borealis or Verde Mantis. It's such a difficult choice. I think I'd probably go Verde Mantis though, because it's just a little bit more ridiculous and I think it suits the car a lot better. A shout out to the Strab man, Ferrari 360 Challenge Stradale. What a car, absolute classic. They're quite old now, the electronics can be a bit dodgy, but um, what a classic. We saw that doing the demonstration runs earlier as well. Uh, obviously a hell of an investment, they're just going to increase in value, but what a vehicle. So while a lot of people think the 360 Challenge Stradale is similar to the uh, standard Ferrari 360, this is actually entirely based on their race car at the time. So it shares a lot more DNA with the actual Ferrari GT at the time, rather than the actual 360, despite having the same body and being called a 360 Challenge Stradale. So what do you guys think? It is a pretty good poster car, I've got to give that. It is very, very symmetrical and uh, very, very pleasing to look at. So today, guys, I'm over Boost Network. <laughs> <laughs> nah, this is uh, Mr. Sturgeon. Uh, yeah, it's been a pretty sick day so far. Beth's having a great time. So fun. Great time. Great time. Ed won't keep in this footage. 
I just know it. So I go in the bloopers, but I don't give a fuck. Uh, he has loads of fans as well. People keep coming up to me and like, oh, you use photographer. And I'm like, yeah, I wish you paid me. You know, sucks. He's currently in the toilet. Going to get some Vloggers. sneaky footage behind <laughs> Vloggers the Vloggers need to pee as well. Vloggers need to pee as well. And Overboost Network. And uh, pretty much we are now going to go get our abs some lunch. Or, well, for me, breakfast. Food anyway. vlog! Food vlog is It's up. a food vlog. So we're going to give the rating of the cafe out of 10. I've not been here since I was about 10. So... They haven't got a lot of selection really, so I've gone for a uh, steak pie thing, beef and ale pie. But um, I might have some, I might have pizza as well, I haven't decided yet. But they've got, they got homemade chicken and rice, but also homemade Rogan Josh. And I want a bit of naan bread, but I think you've got to get a Rogan Josh to get that. No, you'll probably get it as next year. Probably have it as next year. We've arrived at the rev off section, so we're in the arena in the middle. Uh, I'm waiting for all the big naturally aspirated cars to have a go but at the moment we've got I think it's a 570 oh no that might be might be the new 720s some Aston Martin an F-Type SVR and a Range Rover so let's see which one wins <laughs> So unfortunately guys, my GoPro has run out of charge, so I'm now vlogging on my phone. Uh, we're just heading up to the main house. Uh, we had the rev off, I hope you guys like that. Tesla Model X, that black color is absolutely lovely. I don't think you can quite work out how dark that looks. That is like midnight black, but it's still glossy. Lovely old house, but we have got some cars on the front lawn. So first things first, no, no idea what this is, never seen it before. It is called a Vool. It looks more like a track day car, but it's obviously road legal, so it's got plates on it. Headlights on that are really weird. You can see they actually haven't got covers on them. They're all like separate on stalks. It looks quite good, I quite like that. Uh, we also have a few other things over here. We have a nice old E-Type Jag. Obviously, it is probably one of the classiest cars you can buy as an E-Type. Uh, that car specifically is 262,000, I believe it's one sale. Ferrari 360 back here. This is a convertible, so it's the 360 Spider. We have an old classic Aston Martin. You can see the mahogany on the interior. It looks very nice. No idea what model that one is. But here we have the spoked rims on the British Racing Green E-Type. is absolutely next level. Look at that. Look at that. It is just absolutely gorgeous. If you look at it from the front, uh, if you get a picture, if I can get a shot of that with the house in the background, that is just an absolutely, with the perfectly manicured grass as well, that British Racing Green looks absolutely epic. Look at that. I love the spoke rims on these things, they are awesome. Stradali so high pitched you can hear it go. <laughs> so we've seen a fair few Lamborghinis, but car of the day. Why not? Top speed of 30 mile per hour, very practical. That is it guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video of Beauty Supercar Weekend. Obviously we only went on the Saturday, but uh, we saw some pretty sweet rides. We saw 
Lamborghini Huracans, an Aventador Roadster, that really loud popping Gallardo, a fair few Aston Martins, a really pretty pathetic revving contest, if I'm honest, but uh, that happens. Yeah, that was awful. Um, and unfortunately, the second lot of runs where there was the new AMG GTR Mercedes, absolutely gorgeous. When we saw that, uh, we only didn't really get to accelerate, we just kind of saw it as drive by because of the awful position I was in because we got trapped in the Abbey, unfortunately. But um, yeah, quick tour around the museum and the supercars today have been absolutely fantastic. I mean, the LaFerrari in black, absolutely gorgeous. It's been pretty sick. What do you think, Beth? I don't think she enjoyed it as much as me and James did, but um, we're, a bit, we're a bit wet, so. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Links to all that social media stuff will be down in the description below. And uh, yeah, stay subscribed for more awesome content. And if you liked all the AMGs today, especially the C63, check out uh, my AMG video, which will also be linked in the description. And I'll see you guys very soon with more awesome content.